Some of you may have seen this kind of cool looking Chronos grip in a previous video. Uh, I've actually got the finalized version right here, so let's crack it open and see what it's like. And here we have it. This, this is an improvement. Uh, this is definitely an improvement over the version one. Uh, this was nice. It was definitely a step up that helped in priming. Uh, I dug it, but after using it in a game, I did notice that the edges were a bit harsh uh, and it did kind of dig into my hand a little bit the more I used it throughout the day. Uh, so Grias got right to it after getting feedback from a few people and made adjustments, made it wider, made it smoother and more rounded around the edges here. And it just, it feels, it feels nicer in my hand. I feel uh, like my hand is more full, I guess you could say is one way to put it. And that, that allows me to grip better and, uh, and pull things in. Uh, it doesn't get rid of the ridges, the notches. So if those were digging into your hand here on the side, they're probably gonna continue to dig there. Um, I know for me, the shell still uh, right here in the joint, my thumb sits right on that that peak right there. And that you can't, you can't get rid of that by adding a grip. I could sand that down or put something over it. That's That's a me problem, not a grip problem. Uh, the grip also allows you to, to have a, several different ways of priming. Um, can go, you know, I know Bobo like to put his finger around it. You can go just a grip around the whole thing. You can go with your palm. Uh, there's a, it gives you more flexibility in how you want to prime the blaster, which is definitely nice. And it gives you more leverage when you've got to have your spring load in your blaster. Um, it's... It's just nice. It's not necessary if you're running it at stock um, stock spring loads, but if you're dropping a K26 in one of these, it's a nice addition. Get something that's gonna help make your prime easier. Uh, this is definitely one of those things that will do that. These are running at about $15 US, I believe, currently on Grihas' Etsy, which we'll have linked down below. I This makes me want my own Apollo. I'm actually using Thundercrunk's Apollo to test this out since I've got it for the test or the review I did a while back on the whole strap and got back to him. This makes me want my own Apollo or on a on Kronos. Uh, I, I feel like I need to go out and get my own. I need to go do that and and drop drop a K26 in it, get a couple of, of grips for it, and just go have some fun. This makes the blaster better to me, which is awesome it, it it takes it from something that was that's that's pretty cool that's that's nice i'm glad we have this too yeah i really want that now i really want that now so uh if you want one of these you can check the link down below for greenhouse's etsy uh again they're 15 dollars before shipping i believe which is i know it's you know close to the price of the chronos itself but uh 3d printing is a long process so 3d printed parts generally aren't super cheap unless they're super small. So uh, you have to take those things into account. And I think for what you're getting, if you're planning on using a Kronos a fair amount, it is a worthwhile investment in your blaster. Uh, now I just need to get my own and, and, and start tricking it out. I'm excited about this. I hope all of you that pick one of these up will enjoy it as well. Again, link down below, I'll leave that for you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of this and all the other kind of Kronos hype and accessories. Do you think it's worthwhile? Do you think the blaster ha has warranted or earned the praise that it's gotten from all the people that are running it? Let me know down below in the comments. I love hearing from all of you. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.